Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see what are mutating triggers. So before going into the mutating triggers tutorial, first of all, you need to be knowing what are the basic triggers and what are the types of triggers that are available, like uh, statement level triggers and uh, uh, then the what row level trigger, and then we must be knowing the difference between those. So uh, after that, if you people don't know what are triggers then uh, I recommend you to go back to my previous tutorial go through the triggers tutorial and see uh, understand those things and then come and watch this tutorial okay so now moving on so mutating triggers are nothing but it's a runtime error that usually occurs whenever we are making use of uh, the row level trigger okay so this mutating triggers are nothing to do with statement level triggers because usually this mutating error usually occurs whenever we are making use of row level triggers. So now what we'll do is we'll see a small program, we'll understand that program and we'll see how the mutating trigger or uh, muta mutating error occurs and why it has occurred. So we ha if we have still more time then uh, I will also see how we can resolve it in this tutorial itself or else I'll make a different tutorial where we will see how we can resolve the mutating error. So now if you see here there is a program already that I have written where uh, you are creating a trigger called main underscore trick okay then the in this trigger what happens is happens is uh, that is uh, before deleting this table that is EMP this trigger is uh, created on this table called EMP then you can see this trigger is nothing but it's a row level trigger because we are making use of for each row so you guys must be knowing what is the difference between ro uh, row level and the statement level triggers so then and you can also see that uh, you know uh, okay uh, after uh, creating all these things it's a uh, we are using a uh, this dml statement called delete on this table emp that's uh, before delete what needs to be done that's what this trigger is all about so then we are creating a variable called uh, a of number type then here we are selecting the number of uh, records that are present in the employee table into this variable called a you can see it here into a from employee so what we are doing is before deleting the uh, records from the EMP before uh, we are firing a trigger where this collects the number of records that are present in the employee table and then puts the collected data into this variable a on the same variable we are making use of it and inserting it into a table called bin you can see it here so i hope uh, this small program and the easiest program is understood which i have explained step by step right so let us see uh, what exactly happens when we run this program okay sugar got, got created now when i try to delete delete from employee okay where uh, some department number equal to 10 you can see that you are getting fewers where it's saying table scott.emp is mutating trigger function may not see it okay so this is nothing but it's a mutating error when you see these kind of errors it's nothing but a mutating error so why did this occur uh, mainly why this occurred is because uh, whenever you are trying to access uh, or trying to modify the triggering table so what is our triggering table over here this is our triggering table EMP right whenever you are trying to access or modify the triggering table within the body of the same trigger uh, that two in a row level trigger then uh, that will result in a mutating error so you can see here you are making use of this EMP table as a triggering table right then here when you see it is selecting the data from the same table EMP so this is and also this is a for each row that is for each row what happens whenever uh, each record is uh, fired you know uh, this 
this trigger gets fired for each uh, record that is what is for each row that is, that is why we call it as row level trigger after each row uh, row the trigger gets fired right so that's why we call it as uh, row level trigger so you can see this one this uh, statement and uh, this row level statement and also this statement that is you are making use of the triggering table itself in order to collect the data so these things are little bit incons inconsistent and this will result you in the mutating error so what exactly you need to do is whenever you are making use of some triggering table the same thing shouldn't be used for updating also right so you are trying to collect the data from the same triggering table that you are uh, same triggering table that is emp here also you are trying to make use of the same table so when you make use of the same table uh, when that is a triggering table in a row level trigger then the mutating error will occur so hope this uh, concept is uh, understood so how to you know overcome this we'll see that in our next tutorial so hope you guys have understood what is mutating trigger how it occurs so we'll see in the next tutorial how we can resolve it so keep watching my tutorials and stay tuned and also please uh, share my channel with your friends and relatives and thank you very much for watching.